Hi, my name is Phil, and my wife Amy and I are building a Chesapeake Lightcraft teardrop camper. Once you've finished the scary act of cutting out the doors and the rooftop vent hatch, and much less scary tasks of installing the rooftop bezel, the galley gutter, and the transom panels, the most forgiving task on the camper comes next, prepping the bottom and fiberglassing it. The bottom has tabs that fit into notches in the sides and the transom. Since they stick out a bit and aren't sloped like the sides, you need to make them flush. Amy used a rasp to do this. You could use a plane, but since the layers of plywood alternate in direction, you would be cutting through half end grain. You might use a Sureform, one of those funky cheese grater looking planes, but they're a bit of a pain since they catch end grain worse than a regular plane, plus you can't sharpen them. Sanding from coarse to fine would work, but I've found that you end up sanding the surrounding wood if you're not careful. Of course, with a rasp, you'll finish up with a sander too. Amy and I cleaned up some of the rough work with a chisel and sanding blocks. If you didn't round over the butt block, now's the time. I used a router. Since the roller bearing on my roundover bit bottomed out before it rounded much of the butt block, I removed the bearing and used some hot glue to set up a guide. You don't have to use a router. You can sand. It just takes longer and it's a bit of a reach so sanding is much harder on your back. If you do use a router and you aren't experienced, you need to pay attention to the direction of cut. I made myself a handy reminder on some scrap wood and I keep that in my bag that I store my router in. Speaking of rounding things over, we also needed to round the edges of the bottom over so fiberglass could overlap the sides. A random orbital palm sander made short work of that. If you're worried about how fast the sander will remove wood on the corners or the edges, you might consider doing it by hand with a sanding block or using a finer grit sandpaper. We did find ourselves a bit short on fiberglass, but CLC quickly shipped us enough to get the bottom done. There's nothing special about doing the fiberglassing on the bottom. There are fillets and sanding, but otherwise nothing tricky. So here's a quick montage. If you enjoyed this video, or even if you just put it on to drown out the sound of black helicopters landing on your lawn, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell next to the word subscribe so you get notified when I upload another video. Thanks for watching.